you're going to have people that are basically going to pick out every little flaw that they can find in you so that they can throw it in your face and attack your self-esteem. These people believe that you're delusional and that you are not who you say that you are and who God sent you to be. These people are closely watching you and or closely paying attention to everything that you do and they are waiting for you to make a mistake and what and whatever little mistake that you make they're going to point it out. And the reason why they're going to do this is because they envy the light that you carry within and they envy all of the positivity that you are basically releasing to the world. You are a person that is basically giving people a new perspective or giving people something new. And that's what it is. You know, you are a person that people haven't seen in a very long time. Um, and for some people, they haven't seen this at all ever in their lives. But for the majority is freshly new because they haven't seen this. They haven't experienced something like you someone like you and you probably a person that people praise a lot you know because of who you are basically you are authentically yourself and not everybody can do that and not everybody can be themselves because nobody allows themselves to be everything comes easily to you because you don't stress about it you continue to work you continue to do whatever you do you know and speaking positive affirmations over your life and manifesting a lot of positivity over your life, you know? So my thing is everything comes easily to you because you're not doing nothing to nobody. You're minding your business and you are in your own lane. And the difference between you and them is that you are authentically yourself. You are real and they're fake. Your energy and your heart is in the right place and their hearts are not. That's the difference, you know? Evil hates good. And evil will try to demolish anything good that the world has to give. But God is like, let them try it. Because the more that they doubt you, the more that they belittle you, the more that they don't see the greatness in you, the more I'm going to pour in you. And the more that I pour in you, it's going to be hard for anyone to ignore the greatness that I bestowed upon you. And God is saying, you are exactly who I said you are. Nobody has a say-so over who you are but me. So remember who you are. Do not allow anyone to make you doubt the anointing that God has over your life.